Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today what literally just arrived from the UPS truck is our new water block from Swift Tech. And I wanted to show you all this. We'll see what's in here. This is a water block for the TR4 socket, better known as Thread Ripper. Get that out of the way. Let's see here. Let's bring in a little bit tighter. Regular Swift Tech packaging. And there you go. Kyle review sample number 39. Let's see what we got in here. That's pretty nice. And very nice presentation. I do not know if this is uh going to be uh, indicative of retail samples or not. We'll have to see here. Interestingly enough, Swift Tech was one of our first advertisers way back when. I doubt. Wow. They just went all out, didn't they? We've got a velvet bag. Nice Swift Tech box. Let's see here. Wow. Let me bring in a little bit closer on that. So there we go. That is the new water block from Swift Tech for the AMD Thread Ripper. Got you about as close as I can get you there. Look at the uh, micro channels. Wow, that is actually a beautiful piece of work. All these attachment points feel very stable. Nice big C-clamps on our C-clips on the back. Those aren't coming out. And our surface looks to be extremely flat. So you guys know what we like to do when we get in new things, we like to take them apart, see what's on the inside. See the flow pattern there in the top of our block? Looks like really nice craftsmanship. So there we go. That's the money shot there. For comparison's sake, here is uh, our Ryzen 1950X CPU. And so we can see coverage right there. So surely our, uh, the base plate does cover the entire unit. The, let me see, bring it a little tighter. So we've got coverage across the whole CPU, which is great. But let's look. So I made some awesome little visual aids that are super high tech. So our leading block so far we've tested has been the XS PC TR4 block. And if you look at the area of the micro fins here, we are looking at basically 45 millimeters by 35 millimeters and this is the footprint of the micro fins on the XSPC block so you see we get pretty good coverage there we've got a lot more coverage wide because it's about 45 by 52 so width wise really close to the same and this is probably within a millimeter off of being actual size and you can see there it's about it's about 10, 11 millimeters wider this way. So we've still got a good footprint. That block has tested the best. The block that tested the worst was the EK block. There's the EK's footprint. And the problem with the EK was it didn't spread out enough over the die, or at least that's what we think it was. So here is 
actually the way, let me move that before we tear that up. So this is actually the die pattern from inside the block. Now this is not exactly correct to spec, but I would suggest we are within one or two millimeters of actually how these dies set on package. So our active die is here and our active die is here. So let's move this back out of the way. So there is our uh, Swift Tech block, which is the Heirloom series. And so there is how our die packages would set on this block. So we're looking at just maybe four millimeter overhang on each side. Um, side to side, we've got coverage, full coverage, footprint coverage there. So we're definitely going to get this block uh, onto the uh, test bench here very soon. And the machining on this looks very, very good. Nice O-ring. Everything looks well put together. Another thing uh, worth noting on build quality here, it looks like during assembly, the uh, edges on this side of the block got pinched in a little bit. And on the other side, they're slightly bent in, but uh, not near as much. And these fins are tremendously thin. I'd like to get a measurement on it. I don't know what the spec is exactly on that. But you can see how when this all fits back together, there is a little twist to it. So it wasn't forced in there anyway. But uh, we'll ask Swift Tech about that for sure. I can't get an exact measurement on that. But this cavity is only about three millimeters deep. And if we come over here, we can see that our fins, our micro fins, are actually about three millimeters high. So these fins almost come into contact with the top of here. So there it's gonna force water, all the water through these micro fins. It'd be really interesting to see how this works. This is a, I really like the way they've lined this out. So that is our Swift Tech Apogee SKFTR4 Heirloom Series Limited Edition water block from Swift Tech. I would be uh, remiss if I did not mention that it comes complete with Frag Harder Disco Lights. We're going to get this on the test bench and we'll be getting you the full review soon. This is Kyle Bennett with Hardo CP.